Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Sally Harrington and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can be the most efficient editor possible in Premiere Pro using the combination of lots of keyboard shortcuts, which I absolutely love. I'm gonna teach you some of my favorites and this mouse. This is the Logitech MX Master 3. Now you don't have you don't have to have this mouse for this to work necessarily, but when I got this mouse a couple weeks ago, it has completely changed the way that I edit and I've kind of reached the pinnacle of efficiency when it comes to editing. So I'm gonna teach you my system for culling and editing really quickly in Premiere Pro. So if you know anything about me, I am all about efficiency and I'm all about systems. And I realized recently that I've actually come up with kind of a system unintentionally for editing and culling. The goal of my system that I've just now been able to achieve is to be able to edit as much as possible without ever having to take my hands off of my keyboard or off of my mouse. Now what this allows you to do is all my keyboard shortcuts, for the most part, I'm doing, I can completely do with my left hand. I'm pretty good with like moving my fingers around and like I'm pretty, dexterous, I don't know what the right word is. I'm pretty good at just being able to do lots of combinations of keyboard shortcuts with my left hand without having to look and just like I said, as muscle memory. But what was happening was I was always taking my hand off of my mouse to do a few things. And there's a few different keyboard shortcuts that are on the right half of the keyboard that I kept having to reach over with my mouse hand in order to hit. And whenever time I had to do that, I was losing precious seconds. But with the MX Master, because it has the vertical scroll wheel and one extra button, just those two things alone, make it so I've, I'm at the point now where I almost, almost never have to take my hands off of my mouse or off my keyboard. I can just edit for for hours, literally, without ever having to reach over with my right hand to touch the keyboard. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through all the keyboard shortcuts that I use the most. I'm not gonna go into any like really crazy obscure ones, I don't think. I'm just gonna show you the ones that I use on a daily basis. I have a nice overhead cam set up up here uh, so you can kind of see like what my hand is doing and which fingers are doing what or whatever. Like I said, a lot of this is just muscle memory at this point, so I don't know exactly. So you'll be able to see exactly what's happening. And then I'm gonna show you how I have my mouse set up so you can kind of see where that comes in. It gets not super complicated, but just the combination of those two is literally powerful. So we're gonna jump in, show you all these different things, and then I'll show you some like live editing stuff so you can see what it looks like when I'm kind of putting all this into practice and how quickly that you can move. Okay, so one really important thing to note here, I am using a PC, but I've been a Mac user for over 10 years. So I actually have my keyboard remapped. Um, so I have the control key as it would be on my keyboard and the alt key, I have them so that they're swapped. Now the reason I have it that way is because that's most close to how it works on a Mac, where on Mac you obviously have a command key and the command key, which is the one that's right here next to the space bar, that's the one that you kind of use the most often. So my muscle memory when I came over to PC was most used to having that command key. So I swapped these two so that they're the same. So what I'm going to do is on the screen, every time I say a keyboard shortcut, any sort of a command, I'm going to put on the screen the Windows equivalent, what it actually should be, not how I have it set up, what it actually should be, as well as the Mac equivalent of what it actually should be, okay? I know this is gonna get a little bit confusing potentially if you're just watching. However you're normally used to doing things, do it that way for your platform. Just know that what I'm doing is gonna be kind of wonky and backwards. Okay, let's jump into it, here we go. All right, so I'm putting my headphones on so I can hear what I'm doing, may not matter, Put them on anyway. Okay. Okay, here we are, we're in Premiere Pro. So what do you need to know? What is the first thing we need to do? All right, so let's start with zooming in, zooming out. Something you do all the time. To zoom in, you hit the plus key. To zoom out, you hit the minus key. You can also zoom in by hitting Z, and then you get this little magnifying glass and you can just drag with your mouse where it is that you'd like to zoom. If you have this little magnifying glass pulled up and you wanna go back to your mouse pointer, that is gonna be the V key, which will bring you back to this. Um, another one that I use often is gonna be to bring up my cut tool, my blade tool. Um, that is gonna be C on your keyboard. Um, when you have that open, you can just click once to make a cut. However, if uh, in this example here, right, we have multiple things here that we wanna cut at the same time. If you hold down shift, you'll see that you actually get a uh, the double blade here, and that means it'll cut through everything. So it'll cut through all video, all audio tracks, everything at the same time. So that's a really handy one, holding down shift. Uh, and then the one that I'm assuming everybody knows, but you never wanna make assumptions, is gonna be command Z. So we're gonna do command Z to undo, command shift Z, 
is redo. So if you undo something and you want to redo it, that's how you do it. Command Shift Z. Uh, Command Z will undo. Again, we're going to go hit V to go back to our mouse here. Um, one really important one, I'm going to lock this back again here. Let's see. Okay, one really important one that you are going to use all the time is going to be ripple delete. So there are two buttons for this. One is Q, one is W. Um, I always leave my hand resting just like this with my ring finger on Q, my middle finger on W, and then my um, thumb on spacebar. I'll explain why in a second here. Um, but the ripple delete key is going to be Q or W. Q is going to be any, del delete anything to the left of your playhead. W is going to delete anything to the right of your playhead. So you can see here, if I put my playhead right before the waveform here and I hit Q, it's going to delete everything to the left of my playhead, just like that. And now the beginning of this clip is the beginning of this waveform. Uh, the same also works going the opposite direction. So if we scroll, um, you know, say right here, we cut this out. Um, and we wanted to take off this little tail. See, there's like a few extra frames here that we don't want. We put our frame right where we want it. We want to delete everything to the right of the playhead. So we hit W for that and it'll delete everything to the right of the playhead. Uh, Spacebar obviously is going to be to play. Um, J, K, and L are your um, ways that you can scrub through your footage. So, so L is going to play your footage when you tap it once. If you tap it again, it'll play double speed. If you play it again, it'll play four times speed, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then I hit space to stop. So if you have two clips like this that you want to do a transition between, um, there's two keyboard shortcuts for that. If you want to do a video transition, it's command D. If you want to do an audio transition, it's command shift D. That's big. If you want to copy something just like anything else, it's command C. Move your playhead, command V to paste. Now let's say you just want to paste the attributes from something you want to copy attributes from one clip to the next. You simply go to the first clip. Let's say we, um, let's say we did some color grading here. Let's just do something to make it look different, right? So we could do command C to copy. Then we come over to the clip where we want to paste the attributes, select that clip, and then it is uh, <laughs> Alt, Command, V. It's going to bring up your paste attributes. Click which ones you want, hit OK, and it is now pasted your attributes. If you want to duplicate something, but you don't want to do Command C, Command V, um, you can simply click on the whatever it is that you want to duplicate, hold down um, your Alt, I think it's Alt key, and then you can just drag it wherever you want to go. And when you let go, make sure you let go of your mouse first, not the not the key. It will have made a duplicate copy of it. This works for pretty much anything. You can do it like with the adjustment layer. Hold down, hold down Alt drag it up. Now we have two. And then my last and final shortcut that I absolutely love is the A key. So you hit A and basically what this is, is this is kind of like your select all to the right key. So if I click here, you'll see that selected everything to the right of where I clicked. If I click here, etc. Etc. This is really nice if you're like in close and you're trying to do something and you just need to make some space, but you don't want to mess up everything that you've done. You don't want to just like move your bottom clip and then all your top clips and all of the, you know, your graphics or whatever are all get jumbled and out of alignment and out of timing and all that sort of stuff. So you just hit A, you click here, you know you have everything selected that isn't locked, and then you just slide it down and it's going to move everything in sync without messing up your timing. All right, so let's move on to the mouse. Those are the keyboard shortcuts. Again, it's not a ton. It's not super revolutionary or anything like that. But let's now let's talk about the mouse itself because the mouse is doing some things um, that are. I showed you some of the keyboard shortcuts I use for the mouse, but let's get into what these rats are doing. Okay, so for the mouse, there's it, there's just a handful of things that I do with it. First of all, the vertical scroll wheel, so the one that's on the side by my thumb, the thumb scroll wheel, that is going to be zoom in and zoom out. This is nice because it makes it so I don't have to take my hand off the mouse to go hit the plus and the minus sign. Now I do on occasion use the Z to zoom into something like really small if I really want to be like more precise, but it's still nice to have the thumb wheel because then I can really quickly like zoom out just a little bit as opposed to like, again, having to take my hand off the mouse. So the scroll wheel itself is also a mouse. I have that set to the backslash key. So uh, this one right here, that's above enter. So if you click on that, it's going to zoom you out to look at the entire timeline. I really love using this. All. I use this a lot because basically what I'll do, say I'm all the way at the end of the timeline over here and I'm working over here and I'm doing something and I need um, maybe a graphic or something from the beginning of the timeline. What I'll do is I'll leave my playhead over here. I will click the button to zoom all the way out. 
I'll zoom in over here, wherever the thing is that I need, you know, maybe grab it right here, um, maybe duplicate it, whatever I need to do, and then zoom out again, and then I can zoom back in over here. So it's just a really quick way to get around your timeline really quickly, but I'm always doing this. I'm always zooming out, zooming in over here, doing something, zooming out, zooming in over here. And it's just nice to be able to just really quickly see the entire timeline so you can get right where you need to go. Um, again, that's one of those keys also that's on the right-hand side of the keyboard. So I just have that right there as my middle mouse button. Next up, we have our two thumb buttons right here, a front one and a back one. So for, let's come up over here. So for the front thumb button, if I press this one, it is going to play, which is the L key. So I play once, hit it again to play double time. And again, I do this constantly because I don't wanna watch things back at single speed, I wanna watch them back at double speed. So I'm constantly doing this again. So I'll do double speed over here and then I'll stop it with my thumb. Then I take my hands off. Again, reaching all the way over here to hit L would be very inconvenient. Um, I don't need a button over here. Like this button, it won't stop the playhead ever. It just will just keep making it go faster and faster. Um, but my thumb is always on spacebar anyway, so it's not a big deal. So play, double time, four times, spacebar to stop. Super easy. The second mouse button, the back mouse button, I have set to the backspace key, not the delete key, that's different, um, the backspace key. So let's say I make a cut right here and I have this clip right here and I don't want it anymore. I again, used to have to delete it. I would take my hand off the mouse, come over here, hit backspace, come back over to my mouse, move on with my life. Now, all I have to do is click here, hit my thumb button, click here, hit my thumb button, and we're back in business. And then the last key that I have is one that I don't really need. So I actually, if this button didn't exist, this whole system would still work. Um, but I have it set to the paste attributes, which again, I told you before is uh, on my keyboard is control alt V. I think it's alt command V on Mac, but that's kind of like a complicated one. Like I take my hand off and pull it down here and do this. And I can do it really quickly with one hand. I've been doing it for so long, but it's easier not to have to deal with that. So if I, you know, have this clip and say we have it zoomed into 150% and, you know, oops, lock, lock that. And, you know, framed up like this. And let's say I want this clip over here to have the same framing. I just click here, Command C, oops, Command C, click over here, hit my thumb little like special under my mouse rest button over here. It does the paste attributes for me, bada bing, bada boom. We're good to go. And that's pretty much it. Just those two things that the mouse does, the, the ability to zoom in and zoom out, which is something I do all the time and I was always having to take my hand off of the mouse in order to do so. So using that scroll wheel for, th for zoom in and zoom out, having that back key set to delete, or the backspace key, which again, I was having, you're always deleting things. You're constantly deleting things or ripple deleting or doing whatever. So like having that backspace key and then the ability to scrub, you know, play, play fast or double time without having to take my hand off. Just those three things right there are huge. And then also the zooming all the way out, zooming all the way in. It's like such a really, this is such a powerful combo. So hopefully, you know, again, it's not super complicated. Any mouse that has like a vertical scroll, it has two scroll wheels like that can do this. It doesn't have to be the MX Master 3. That's just what I happen to have. Um, but now we're gonna go back in. I'm gonna kind of go through this and I'm gonna just walk you through what I'm doing as I'm culling through something like this for real. So you can see, how I'm using all these different combinations of things and how I'm able to really quickly move around the timeline and do whatever it is that I need to do. Okay, so what we have here is a pretty basic like start to YouTube video. This is just a bunch of clips um, from one of my clients. Her name is Becca. She has a really great company called Little Z Sleep. If you have any children, go check them out. They're awesome. Um, they are, she's a pediatric sleep consultant. But basically what I have here is I just have a bunch of like raw straight to camera clips um, that I would need to cut down to make a YouTube video. So how how do I go about doing this? Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of go through this. Um, it's not gonna be full, full speed, so I'm gonna be trying to talk you through it, but just to give you a general idea of like how this would normally work. Okay, so I hit Z to zoom in over here. Okay, hit V to go back to my mouse. So um, then I know that I wanna kind of start this right here. So I'm gonna put my playhead right at the beginning. I usually, I can zoom in using my the scroll wheel on my mouse. Uh, I'm gonna get to right, right where she starts talking. So right here, I'm gonna hit Q to ripple delete this back to the beginning. I have a ripple delete here. I'm gonna click there, hit the um, second mouse button on my mouse to delete that. Uh, there must be something 
down here. Oh yes, there's an audio down here. Um, oh, that's a big one. So if you hold down Alt or Command, when you scroll up and down like this, it'll let you scroll, because normally when you scroll, it scrolls left and right on your timeline. If you hold down Command, it scrolls up and down in either your audio or your video tracks. Okay, so I'll scroll down, I'll see that there's audio here, so I'm just gonna bring this over. Okay, so it's the beginning of the video, so I need a transition here, so I click on the beginning, Command D, I want an audio transition to, Command Shift D, start here, I'm gonna hit my um, front mouse button to play. Okay, so she's talking along. I hit it again to do double time. Um, okay, so here's the end of this clip right here. We want to trim it as close as possible so we get right here. Hit W. Here's our next clip. So I need to move everything down because I need to insert the intro right here. So I'm going to hit A, slide everything down. I'm going to go over to a different video. Z, zoom in. V to move back to my mouse, click here, and then I just have to drag this over to here, and then, okay. So now I'm gonna zoom out, zoom up. And so I'm holding down command to zoom up. This right here is my like little intro doodad here. Um, hold down command will make these bigger or smaller, like right here. So if you put your mouse in this room, this spot right here, hold down the corner key, and you scroll with your normal mouse wheel, your up and down mouse wheel, it's gonna make these bigger or smaller. If you hold down shift, it'll do all of them. Um, I'm just thinking of more keyboard shortcuts as we go here, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna make this a little smaller so I can see everything. Um, I'm going to bring this down, zoom in so I can get this like lined up just right. Okay, so that's, I need to slide this over, hit space to stop. Okay, so there's a little part right here where the it fades to black before the animation's done, um, but I don't need the audio to come over, I just want the video. So I hold down um, control, and then I'm gonna drag this over so that I don't have that black. So this is just the video, leave the audio, leaving the audio alone even though they're linked. Okay, so then that's gonna slide in. Okay, great. So then um, what I need to do over here is we need to delete this so we don't need that extra one. So I'm gonna hit a, click here to collect to select all of the clips to the right of there. Drag this over to my marker here. And I'm really not, I just don't need any of this. So let's see, let's find, actually maybe I do. Oh yeah, it, I do. I made it smaller so I can't tell. Okay, so where's the beginning of this clip? Okay, so yeah, so that's the beginning. So Command Z to undo that. I drag this all the way over to here. Okay. So what I'm realizing now is that I need to like, let's say I need to add some like audio attributes. So I'll come up here and we'll do like the multi-band compressor. Um, and we'll go to, you know, edit this, we'll do this, we'll do two. Okay, perfect. So we have this the way we want it. So I'm gonna do Command C. I'm gonna hit my uh, scroll wheel, press it so I can see everything. I'm gonna just select all of these clips here I'm gonna press this thumb button here to paste attributes, make sure my multiband compressor is on, hit okay. Now, as you can see, they all turn purple, so they all are gonna have the same audio effects applied. Hit Z, I'm gonna zoom back in over here. We're gonna come to the end of this clip. I'm gonna zoom in, just scroll in with my, um, my zoom wheel on my mouse. Come right here, I'm gonna hit C, make a cut. Now, I could normally just like ripple delete this, but because I have my audio down here, I think it's gonna be faster for me to just like cut it, delete this, and then delete the whole thing over, as opposed to like, if I do a, a ripple delete, it'll delete the, all the audio underneath of it. So I'm just gonna click here, hit the mouse button two, click in my gap, mouse button two again, these two are brought together. I'm gonna highlight this here, Command Shift D to get my audio transition and then we're moving on. Okay, so this was actually a mess up. She did the same thing twice, so I'm gonna delete this. Oops, delete this, drag this over. Come over here, I'm zooming in with my wheel. Come in right here, boom, boom. Okay, so then I'm gonna come over here to the end of this clip. Now, again, I'm doing this kind of quickly. 
here, Q, select these two, Command Shift D. Okay, so we're gonna come to the end of this one. This is where we made that random cut earlier. So we're just gonna delete all this and like extend this clip all the way out. So I'll extend this clip. Let's see, A. Okay, right here. Double speed, redo here, delete that. Okay, so hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully you can see, sorry, take these off here. Hopefully you can see how quickly that system is and hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, I, again, it's one of those things you kind of have to practice and like the dexterity of your left hand has to be pretty good in order to do all those things really quickly. I'm obviously not looking down. I don't have to like think about what I'm doing. I'm not having like every time I have to reposition my hand or do whatever, it all always kind of naturally just falls back to this home position. All those different things just come with time and practice and experience. But I think that once you start understanding all these keyboard shortcuts and you start utilizing them, it's really going to help you to move that much quicker. And the combination again with just be able to zoom in uh, on the mouse really, really, really takes it to the next level. So if you're thinking about getting MX Master, I have a completely separate video about that. I'm gonna make just like breaking that down and like why I like it and all the other things about it. Um, but hopefully this helps you to see why it can really be like a super powerful combination with the rest of your workflow. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. If you really, really loved it, I'd love for you to subscribe. We've got tons more videos for you guys coming in the near future. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, my name is Tyler Harrington and I'll see you next week. Thank you.